faces are covered because they don't want their faces on the news. All right, your yeah. plan. That's why I'm standing in front of you. And now to the breaking news unfolding as we speak. Clashes break out in downtown Portland. Conflicting protests have brought two groups face to face today. Antifa and, pa and Patriot Prayer. We have seen multiple fights, multiple arrests. Our Lisa Balick and Jennifer Dowling are both covering the action from both sides of these clashes. We want to warn you ahead of time. This is live coverage. It is possible you'll see violence. It's possible you will hear vulgar language. We're going to begin with Lisa Balick, who has been following Antifa. Lisa, what are you seeing? Right now, we are at Southwest Main and 3rd, and they have been on the move over the past 15 minutes. Take a look here behind us here. You're seeing police trying to keep the Antifa from getting over to the Patriot Para groups. We have seen pepper spray used. We have seen fights breaking out here. This is, again, a live picture of what's happening. Now, there was no permit to be in the streets, but people have gone into the streets. There's a lot of screaming and yelling back and forth between groups. Again, this is a live picture here. We are outside right in front of the Justice Center. What's happening also is Patriot Prayer is having a rally at Terry Shrunk Plaza, the next block over. Portland police have done a job trying to keep the two groups separated as people are going in there. But these folks now are moving over that way, again, trying to interfere with that rally that's about to go on. But they're on the move. They have been moving through the streets of downtown Portland, mostly the sidewalks. We've seen lots of riot police as well that are in place that are have been on the move as well on their vehicles. But we are seeing Homeland Security down here as well as Portland police. They've been mostly, though, on these several blocks here through the heart of downtown Portland. This started about an hour and a half ago. And again, there's not a plan in terms of where they will be. They just keep going on the move. And the Portland police have been trying to keep the two groups separated from each other. All right, well, that's Lisa Balick reporting live there. We also have Jennifer Dowling. Yeah, and I want you to take a look here. Let's take a look here Let's down here as well. We've got the riot police here as well. We've heard a couple okay. of flashbangs going off. Again, they're trying to keep people out of the street. Again, this is live coverage, so you may see some things that you don't expect. But again, this is a live situation. Keep in mind, this is about a year ago when we saw thousands of protesters in the streets. This was, again, right around the time with the incident on the Max, where Jeremy Christian allegedly stabbed to death people on that Max. The size of the crowds this time, nowhere near that whatsoever, but we have seen more and more people coming down here. This actually, police say, is a larger gathering than what they had expected today. They thought there would not be this many people. Again, this is a live situation down here in the downtown blocks. The streets are open. No streets have been closed out so far at this point. Again, police are trying to keep the streets open as this protest keeps moving through the streets of downtown Portland. Back to you. All right, Lisa Balick, thank you very much. And now we want to get over to Jennifer Dowling. You can see the chaos. Jennifer, I've been watching you following these groups around. I understand that this protest began involving a man named Tiny with Patriot Prayer, who you talked to. What did he have to say and what are you seeing? Good afternoon, Trevor. Let's first talk about what I'm seeing right now. We're at Chapman Square and Terry Trunk Plaza, where that rally was originally supposed to start. And we were there uh, talking to some of the members of the Patriot Prayer Group earlier in the day. Uh, it's hard to maneuver around here because the groups are on the move. We're on the move as well, as you can see. My photographer, Kenny, is trying to get some shots here to show you exactly what's going to go on. So I'm just going to walk with him. Uh, so you may not see me on camera a whole lot, but I just want to describe, oh, look, we have a group running right there to my right. Uh, could be a confrontation. We've seen those all day, actually. A lot of people uh, colliding. Uh, we've seen a couple uh, incidents where people have been pepper sprayed from both sides. We've seen uh, at least two arrests. Uh, one man from Antifa leaving toward the uh, Justice Center with a bloody face and handcuffs. He looked like he was from Antifa. But we also saw members of Patriot Prayer cuffed as well, at least one. Uh, maybe not multiple members, but at least one. So as you can see, it's a fluid situation. A lot of people have sticks and flagpoles here. And police have been trying to confiscate those because they have been unfortunately used as weapons uh, by various people in this group. And it's hard to tell who's using them, whether it's Antifa or Patriot Prayer members, because when the groups come together, it is, uh, you know, a big, just to dumb it down, a big mess. So here we are with the uh, officers in their riot gear pulling up from Portland police. 
they're getting ready to uh, encircle the crowds here. What they've been doing all day is blocking them. I think Lisa ba Balick mentioned that earlier. Blocking them uh, in Chapman Square over there from entering into Terry Shrunk Plaza. So they're trying to keep the two groups apart here. And uh, we have, again, seen some arrests. We've also heard a number of flashbangs. That's a cloud dispersal device. And people pepper sprayed as well. So police have been using... Uh, techniques to break up the two groups when they collide. And when they were on the march, actually earlier, we got under some scaffolding where there was construction at one of the buildings downtown and things got pretty rough under there. It was hard for police to get in there and break that up. So we've seen a few people get slugged in the face, uh, some physical violence out here. Also, again, people using uh, flagpoles as weapons at various times. And we did see at least one person injured and quite a few people pepper sprayed. And that's Joey Gibson right there. You're looking at him. I'm not sure if Kenny's can uh, get focused on him. He's running for office in Washington State. And back to what Trevor was talking about earlier, I did uh, interview Tiny Toese. He is going back to the Samoan Islands. That's where he's originally from. And this rally is intended to... Uh, I celebrate his involvement or mark his involvement in this Patriot Prayer Movement. And if you'll recall, last year he was arrested during this same rally a year ago on this anniversary date. So things got pretty rough back then. And, and he was actually pepper sprayed today. I saw him pouring water in his eyes earlier. Uh, but he is uh, vowing to come back within a couple of weeks after he leaves for the islands. So uh, again, this rally is uh, to uh, mark Tiny's departure for the islands of Samoa and to uh, uh, celebrate uh, freedom of speech. That's what this Patriot Prayer Group usually uh, rallies for when they're out here. And um, things have calmed down a bit. So I'm going to toss it back to you guys in the studio. And we'll see you again probably at around 530 and 6. Yes, Jennifer Downling, thank you very much for the